welcome back for more exo zeros content today's video we're going to discuss the overall tier list for march 2021 but before that if you wanted updated exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below hey guys before we start i'd like to invite you guys to join our discord server for any chat regarding exo zeros discussions um guides as well please check out the description below so we start off with our tier c so more or less your tier c are if i would classify them they are the heroes that um will be good as you start the game they are actually very good um kind of substitutes for the existing you know the existing meta meta heroes okay so we start off with ramji so this is another version of ramji that um has uh, turned into an FC but never really took off because he doesn't really have that much to add aside from his, uh, you know, um, nullify heals and um, he, his, his kit is actually also squishy. That is why he is in tier C. You would only bring him if you don't have first guardian Ramji. Okay, so. But before we proceed, uh, please ignore Valentina right there on your right side. She's not part of the tier list. She's just there to watch over us. It's okay. To proceed, Bernadette is there for tier C because usually, um, again, for those who don't have the top tier, you know, burst, burst high damage heroes, Bernadette is a very good substitution at tier C because of her power, powerful burst for S. S2 and a low cost S1. Okay, and take note that she has flop flop up swell and summer's blessing. So she is actually viable for tier C. Next beside her would be Otard or FC Otard. So FC Otard is actually she's actually good. She she can be in the upper tiers, but since there are a lot, you know, more viable high damage, high damage um fire fire heroes um in terms of their fc they're they're better um most of them uh, have actually been played in the top teams of pvp while Otard hasn't had her you know has her time uh, hasn't had her time yet in um going up to the top tier of pvp um but she is actually very useful in your pve set up or your pve uh pve um runs so actually she actually deals hi extra high damage for those who have status effects so that is why she is here at tier c i'll point out later which are the best um fire heroes in terms of her high damage category when i go to the upper tiers okay so next would be Rudley. So Rudley is again he 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 when when you actually are starting the game, FC Rudley is basically one of the best you know picks that you have early on. He gives you he's a good attacker and a buyer support, provided that you have command with Garf on your team. Okay, so he is very good at tier C again. Very still still very good for PVE and also for pvp in the lower tiers okay next would be fc emma um fc emma is excellent in on debuffs and on attack and on defense um she she used to be viable in terms of pairing her with linombe heroes but now you you have fc april you have you know you have fc schmidt out so she has slipped from probably i think she was in tier b or tier a before she's now slipped to tier c okay next would be fc baraka fc baraka is this is again is another you know it's it's a shame that they put out these fcs and they have duplicates and the duplicates are very very good so for this version of fc baraka He's still good. Um, he actually is the less defensive version of the FC uh, compared to the first Guardian version of Baraka. So, but he is still good if you still want to use him. Okay, um, good in PvP, 
content and PvE as well. So moving on to the next would be Degas. So FC Degas is good because uh, he has shared health and freeze for his S2. Um, the current meta of the game actually has driven him down. It's, it's driven down his value because there, there we have had a, we have a lot of defense-oriented um, heroes that are better stacked than him in terms of skills. That is why he's actually now in tier C. If you don't have any of the upper tier heroes, FC Degas is a good grab at tier C. Okay, so next to round out the tier C would be Ulum. So Ulum is, again, um, the basic uh, version of himself. So he actually is still viable because if you don't have FC Ulum, the original Ulum will actually still break Garden Stones if you have Bather in your team and if he has Tranquil. So that is why he is so useful, again, in your PvE and PvP content. Okay, so this actually rounds out our tier C. Okay, here are we now with our tier B. So they're a bit, you know, they're, some of them are actually used in the mid tier of PvP and they're very good in your PvE content. So we'll start off with Blue Rachel. So Blue Rachel is similar to, you know, a Gold Fate for Rachel. He just has less damage, and but he has silence actually in his S1. So more or less, um, preference would be Gold Rachel because of the damage output of the Gold versus this version of Blue. So that is why he is in Tier B. But if you don't have the, the, the Gold Fated version, um, he is actually a good replacement uh, once you get uh, or before you get gold uh, gold uh, fated uh, rachel okay so next would be fc luke so fc luke is here again um fc luke came out after digas basically he he is actually better than digas because he absorbs all damage from all allies he is actually a very good tank but again his you know his skills is limited to basically that only okay to his to his left is actually FC Scarlet. So FC Scarlet is one of the one of the first I think one of the first um, FC FCs or sorry Summer Festa FCs that was actually useful in PvP way back together with FC Iris. So she actually has a S1 and S2 as a burst skill. Plus, she, she has flap flap. That is why she's good because she can turn your, you know, your enemies into rubber duckies or probably a fish. So that is why she's still here in tier B. For FC Anastasia again, FC Gar, FC, oh, sorry, uh, first guardians actually are a bit, you know, they are valued very much in this game, especially for FC Anastasia with her heal with her burst heal and with her S2. She is actually a very all-around, you know, all-around healer with her own right in terms of dealing high damage. Also, she's a first guardian, so she's tough and she actually punishes enemies who attack her. That is why she is still good at tier B. Next would be regular battery. So regular battery is not that bad versus your FC battery. She has she still has the basic skills that make her good aside from the FC form. So Tranquil is still her, you know, her her bread and butter. And she actually still is very good, even if she doesn't have her FC. Okay, so try to bring her even if you don't have her FC FC still. Okay, next again to her left would be FC Adam. So FC Adams has climbed because he synergizes well with Astoris Republic heroes like Junai, FC Shell, and uh, who else? So more or less the, the three of them are very good. He deals actually high single target damage for both his S1 and S2. That is why he's valued and more or less he has Heart Strike as well. I forgot to mention Luke has also Heart Strike, so mostly 
all of the Banga family FC have heart strike. That is why they're still valued in this game. And Adams is valued at tier B as well. Okay, moving on to his older brother, which is FC Jin. So FC Jin, the ninja, is actually also good because um, apart from, again, having heart strike, FC Jin is actually giving out silence as long as your enemies are charmed. So that's it. So he can control, you know, control the tempo. He's actually come to think of it good with FC Schmidt because if he attacks again and deals silence, then, you know, it's kind of a pretty good synergy. Hmm. Storage Republic with FC, FC Schmidt. So I'm thinking about that. Let me think more about that. Okay, but before, before anything else, let's proceed to your left. So you have FC Brook. FC Brook has been very good in pvp before probably one of the top heroes in pvp for you know past few months but she has dropped in usage and she is still viable again in both pvp and pve content okay she is actually valued for her relentless attack once once another you know another hero attacks your enemy she actually deals a normal attack i think there's a certain buff applied to her uh for her to do that okay next would be regular garf so regular garf is not really regular he's actually pretty powerful still same um shared health same you know same s1 s2 and he is actually still tough um the only you know the only add-on for fc garf would be i think his um damage over time for his s1 but FC Garf, you know, if you don't really have, you know, uh, uh, FC Garf, regular Garf would be actually a very good, um, still very good in your PvP. Um, also in PvE as well. So take note. So again, he is actually a very good defensive type character if you don't have um, the upper tiers of his version. Okay, so now here we are with tier A. So the creme de la creme more or less is rising. So we have to start off on your right, excluding FC Valentina. Actually, she's there. Sorry, in team A. So, but we'll go to go to her later. So to start is FC Ulum. So the difference between FC Ulum and Ulum would be um, this version, the FC version, actually heals himself or heals herself sorry so that is actually very good about her in terms of being tanky breaking garden stones and having provoke she actually heals herself okay next would be deva so deva is actually a bit um she dropped in usage already because again way back when the meta was still squishy she had her way with a lot of you know a lot of teams she was priced i even had to level up my dev uh, deva so that i could compete in pvp but again she is still viable in pve and the lower tiers of pvp or pvp tag even so deva doubles critical hits and also has sky silence for her s2 so you can't go wrong with Deva. She is actually still viable. The problem with her is she's just that squishy in the meta right now. Just have to make sure that she survives and she deals enough damage. Okay. So moving on to your left. Left, right. Okay. To your left is FC Maggie. So FC Maggie has been touted to be one of the best um, heroes in the dragon, on Holy Dragon Grounds. She's actually also included in some of the teams for for wasted red so she is actually very good again in pve can't go wrong with fc maggie again if you notice earlier um otard is at tier c because of actually one of them is fc maggie she's actually more tankier because she's a first guardian and um she's over she overall in terms of mana, in terms of generating for herself, she's actually better than Otar. So I'd take FC Maggie any time over FC Otar. Okay. Next to your left again would be FC Lepin. So FC Lepin, 
um she used to be you know she used to dominate again there, there was there is just actually a lot of you know better you know better fcs or heroes that came out but again she is still usable in the lower tiers of pvp and also in pvp tag she's very good actually in pv content because you will need eventually to 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 revive your hero so she has revive heal and also a valuable turn reset and damage immunity but you know because of that guy on your on your le on on the leftmost uh, side has his FC already. Well, I guess Lepin will have to be contented with PVE for now. But again, can't go wrong with Lepin. Um, she is a very good support um, hero for her FC. Okay, next again to her left is FC Baraka. Again, the first Guardian version. He actually has catapulted his status towards tier a because mainly of um the team composition for team linombe he's one of the vital heroes there he's actually a good hero because he's a blue fate core uh, but he gives bonuses to wasted red so i have him at i think plus two or plus three fusion but i actually baraka is actually very good um very good in the in the early stages of the game very good as well in pve and right now one of the most important team members in team lenombe so you can't go wrong in investing with fc baraka the first dragon version okay so next to your left again would be fc ramji this version of ramji is actually going to be great actually he is great already um Usage wise in terms of countering you no know, the um, the stall meta which is going to die because of FC Schmidt. Um again Ramji's usage might drop. So but for now he's still being used um very you know very good for his nullify heal, very good for his um first dragon passives, and um he is actually a good defensive character. I use him actually in my West wasted red team. Um, with Garf, FC Garf, FC Redley, FC Annie, Kim, Ramji, FC Ramji, and FC Iris. So, again, I still, you know, value him. And I don't know if his usage would go down. But, again, uh, you can uh, never go wrong with FC Ramji on your team. Okay, to the beautiful lady on his left would be FC Valentina. So, I have twins there sorry for that but fc valentina um very good in terms of control the problem with her is that she she is dependent so much with with her father uh shufraken F, or fc shufraken that she's at tier a her father's not here so let's look for her father later but but actually she is very good in terms of in terms of locking opponents uh, limiting them to less mana not you know uh, mana burn and uh, not letting them gain mana so very good actually in the recent she she and her father in north von frosty are one of the most sought after teams right now um combos to shut down opponents they might still be in the running um even if fc schmidt is out already so again her usage might might take up depending on what other team comps we can build uh, to counter FC Schmidt or with FC Schmidt. Okay, to your to your left, okay, is Schmidt. So the regular Schmidt is actually very good again because of prey in Master's footsteps. So turn resets. Um, his uh, his FC is just crazy. This version of him is actually pretty much very good already. Very good in PvP, very good in PvE. So again, you can't go wrong with FC Schmidt if you have leveled him up. So here we are with our tier S. So these are more or less the heroes that um, are very good, but some of them need certain conditions. Like, for example, you have their FC Shell. FC Shell is actually very good, but she has to be with Janai. So again, they cannot really stand alone. She can, you know, she uh, you can actually value her without FC Janai only for her S2. 
but that's basically it but she is a very good character to have her or a hero to have so and she has you no know, she has she can actually do turn resets for any of your heroes add mana and supposedly if if you have fc Jina on your team she can nullify barrier so what what's wrong with her kit she's actually good but she has to be paired with fc Jinai. and fc Jinai has to put charm on the net, on the enemy so that is why she is here at tier s next to her is fc annie sad to say fc annie has dropped because i see in the future in her future that um she's going to have a hard time with fc schmidt because I actually had a play test with my own team using FC Annie. And once Schmidt hits um, the, the team with Prey, she, her attack and defense goes down. Again, also once her her attacks and uh, so once the once her attack and defense goes down because she gives damage immunity, same as the whole row, so including Radley as well. So some some players might think twice already and putting her in this lineup so i'm putting her at tier s even though she is that good but when faced with fc schmidt she's really going to you know to cry her uh, her heart out okay so more or less she's still good in pve as well next to her is fc zeon fc zeon has actually catapulted his status up because again, Oblinombe and he has regained part of his, you know, previous stature as a dominant hero. But actually, his kit is crazy good. Um, Redentus attacks, turn resets, um, AOE attacks, single target attacks, you name it. He's actually relentless and I sometimes hate him when I face him together with other Linombe heroes. So, very good. He's up to tier S. I'm sorry, FC Tantalo, but you're going down you're going further down i don't know in a couple of months but right now you are actually a tier s from tier s s because again of schmidt because of the anti-nullify heal decrease attack and decrease damage for his row so again what could i say so it's actually fortunate now that he's still being used but what if in the future people don't use him anymore in terms of in terms of pvp but actually, he still is very good in PvE content. That's actually why he's still here. He's excellent in PvE content in terms of damage over time, in terms of heart strike for the bosses. So basically, he's still good. Probably a... He's now a 8 out of 10 before he was a 9.5 probably, or a 10. So, I'm sorry, Tatalo. You, you really have to step down. Okay, next would be FC Shu Fraken. So, again, here's the father of FC Valentina. So, he's here. He runs the meta. He runs North Von Frosty. And, again, their team is still winning because of him. So, he is here at Tier S. He has stun. He has stun for the back row. He actually has uh, Fear of the Abyss uh, for those who have less health, so extra damage. Again, very good kit, very good um, in terms of defense. And he is at tier S. To his left is actually FC April. FC April could have been tier SS um, if not for her dependency in, um, in FC Rachel. So she heals allies when she dies. She heals them. She silences them with her S1, and but she requires FC Rachel uh, so, so that your enemies would be disheartened. Okay, proceeding now to the young lady to your left. Okay, so it's FC Iris. FC Iris actually, I think, will just hover around tier S and tier SS. Um, currently, her usage has dropped because um people have been packing their teams more with damage but again you can can't go wrong with her nullify barrier um and her mana for everyone on your team so she's still very good pve wise or pvp wise again pvp tag will always have a place for her um actually most of these guys 
have a place in PvP tag. And they will still dominate. Last on tier S would be FC Garf. My Garf. Okay. My Garf because I've been using Garf for quite a while for my Wasted Red. Very good hero. Except when when, when she encounters Tantalo. Because she, she usually gets Heart Strike. Very good hero. Very tanky. Shared health. Um, in terms of... Uh, in terms of... Uh, protecting other allies she's good back row damage very good as well so very dependent in terms of your team for wasted red and she's the general so of course she's that good so for our tier ss we have here the creme de la creme of more or less the best heroes right now in pvp and pve to start off we have fc redley FC Redley again can't go wrong with him. I really underrated him when I started. Now he's my favorite hero. Um, gives you defense, gives you HP, gives you barrier. What can you ask for that? Plus, he he gives a lot of burst damage for his S two. So no, if you can't appreciate that, then I don't know what you know what is good for you. So pr moving on to his to his left left okay left would be fc talia so fc talia is basically a you know a healer on steroids so everything uh heals heals for days for her passive for her s1 and s2 what can i say she's a she's a healer galore okay next to her left again is fc Janai with basically charm lowers attack speed dot um, increase damage decrease attack and increase attack so that is actually incorporated in her kit so why she's not used that much because again it's only her and fc shell that's usually viable in stories apart from fc adams or fc Jin, those two are just the you know the, the most versatile heroes that you can use and she is very good actually in pvp and also pve because of her damage over time in terms of breaking garden stones perfect together with tantalo they are insane okay so fc g9 premier you know she's a premier hero in terms of overall overall usefulness in this game next would be fc battery fc battery again has been and has been in the has been in the top ever since because of tranquil survivability high damage burst damage you name it even if there is summer's blessing she can still survive on her own give her team give her team one more chance to survive because of tranquil is actually nuts so she will not go away as one of the top heroes in this game to her left is fc rachel fc rachel is actually here because of the top team for the top team for pvp he's here because there won't be any top team for Inombe without him without the signature force without you know the synergy that he gives to um you know to all the to all the allies that he's with so speed again speed um increase hit attack speed Decrease dodge for the enemy and defense as well. So again, very good support, very fast, and very efficient. Next would be one of my favorites, all-time favorites um, in terms of overall utility and usability. Sometimes she's she's in the top in terms of PvP. Right now she's she's very solid um, with North One Frosty. It's Dorka. So Dorka in terms of damage, in terms of control in terms of heal what else can i say so basically she's very good all she needs is just an fc an fc if you can see schmidt schmidt has been you know transformed with his fc i'm just waiting for dorka's you know either black or 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 gold fc not her orange fc of course but she's no she's going to dominate more um, PvP and PvE so you can't go wrong with her damage over time as well for her S1 so again Dorka very good always reliable 
always going to be a top hero in this game and in my heart <laughs> okay so next to her left would be fc rara so basically fc rara has been in this game for quite a long time has dominated a lot especially with battery in the lineup but without battery she can still hold her own okay take note of that i've seen teams dominate without you know her pairing with battery so basically very good in terms of high damage skills and she also gets added benefits if she has tranquil from battery okay so again she, she also has pierce damage okay so take note of that and last but not the least our most recent addition to the family of tier ss so again the insanely insanely overpowered F fc schmidt i hate to admit it but he ma he makes lenombe crazier than crazy okay very crazy again if you haven't seen my review on him or my you know review on him my gameplay uh and also my pulls for him i'll put up a video up there so that you can take a look on how i reviewed him in terms of his gameplay and also a discussion on how uh, how he fares in this current meta but actually he is really good okay so master footsteps he still has it so basically pray as well so reset attack anti <clears throat> anti damage immunity again as i mentioned with tantalo tantalo slip because of this guy annie as well so lepin and the list goes on in terms of those who have damage immunity their attack and defense will go down 80 percent as well as the, the same heroes on their row so you know it's it's actually a really big headache so um i kind of found you know a way on how to counter him already into you know, more or less um keep his mouth shut so basically silence him not use his spells but again it's really difficult to be a in a matchup with F fc schmidt okay so he also has an increased attack by the way and damage reduction okay so he is very good very good kit um released just a few days ago but i see him being in most teams or if not all of the teams in the top 50 for asia server very good ridiculous and uh, you know very very impressive for FC Schmidt to debut in X in Exos Heroes for his fate. Okay, so anyway, guys, it has been a long tier list. And anyway, if you have questions, comments below, write them down. Again, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel a lot. And always, guys, take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here. <laughs>